The topic of Chinese American scientists uh, actually uh, came up as uh, a follow-up to a paper that I wrote on U.S.-China scientific exchange during the Nixon period. I traced them back to the 1940s when there were about 5,000 Chinese students in the U.S. Uh, so by 1949, uh, when the Chinese Communist Party took over mainland China, uh, this 5,000 Chinese uh, students and scholars had to make a decision whether to stay in the U.S. or actually to go back to China. Inside Science. In the 1950s, about uh, 4,000 decided to stay in the U.S., but 1,000 actually end up going back to China. The um, impact of those Chinese scientists who stayed in the U.S. after 1949 really became uh, very pronounced after Nixon's trip to China in 1972. What happened was that many of those Chinese American scientists went to visit mainland China. And uh, in the process, they got reconnected with their former classmates, those who had returned to China in the 1950s. And together, what they have done, one of the most important undertakings they collaborated on was to re-establish the procedure for Chinese students, younger generation, like my generation, to uh, come to the U.S. to study. Uh, a majority, probably 70-80% of those uh, Chinese students have actually uh, stayed in the U.S. after they finished their studies. So this is one of the most important uh, impacts that the scientists, uh, the 5,000, uh, both those who had stayed here in the U.S. and those who returned to China, uh, made in terms of uh, the change, both for Chinese science and uh, for American science. Uh, but one of the most interesting uh, impacts that this Chinese American scientists have had that, that's the subject of my current research is in terms of uh, uh, diplomatic policy, uh, especially between the U.S. and China, in two areas that I'm focusing on. One is nuclear arms control, and the other is climate change. And uh, in each case, what I have found is that um, both those uh, Chinese American scientists who had stayed in the U.S. and those who had returned to China, uh, they joined hands in uh, increasing U.S.-China scientific uh, uh, collaboration and exchange, both at a scientific level, but also at a diplomatic level, in pushing forward uh, the agenda in both fields. And that's, uh, I think, fascinating, uh, relative unknown, but important uh, subject uh, for uh, historical studies. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.